Hey everybody, it's Dr. Christine from Revolution Wellness Center with another installment of RevCam. With today's focus, talking about emotional stress. Now, this one I could spend minutes and minutes on, hours and hours on. Uh, it's, in my opinion, the worst destructive stress that we have out of the three. And again, the three stresses are physical stress, emotional, scre emotional stress, and uh, nutritional or chemical stress. Why would I say emotional stress is so bad? Well, the main reason is it's an everyday occurrence. And the other reason is we do it to ourselves and we allow others to do it to us. Um, you know, the, the self-talk that we have quietly to ourselves is so horrible. Um, and there's also a really interesting study that was done on, on kids. They uh, followed around four-year-olds for about three hours or so, and they found that the average four-year-old laughed in that time frame 200 times. They did the same study on adults, and the adults only laughed twice in that same time frame. So really being serious is something that we do really learn. Um, and we need to really do our best to be obligated uh, to make sure that we are laughing and interacting and having fun. Uh, it's, it's for our health's sake, quite frankly. So uh, the top four emotional stressors are going to be no surprise. Well, the, the bottom two might be surprises, but the top two aren't. The very first emotional stress, the worst one, is death of someone we care about and love. The second is divorce, very stressful. The third is a geographic move to some other place, even if it's in the same state, but just moving itself is really time consuming and, and um, very complicated and very annoying. And then the fourth stress, which many, many of you may not pick, is uh, being too serious. Like I mentioned before with the kids that laugh, adults didn't laugh anywhere near as much. Uh, so we really need to make our effort to laugh and uh, make others laugh too. If you don't feel like laughing, try to make somebody else laugh. That, that's probably a good uh, rule to live by, isn't it? All right, I hope you've enjoyed today's RevCam. See you next time.